Um, I'm really excited to share with you one of my favorite plant-based chocolate chip cookie recipes in honor and celebration of Earth Day. Um, welcome to my kitchen. Let's get ready to bake. Don't you just hate when you find a recipe online that looks delicious and claims to be made with everyday ingredients that you already have at home and then they're not everyday ingredients you already have at home? Well, one of the reasons I love this recipe, other than the fact that it's delicious, are the fact that the ingredients actually are things you probably already have at home. So, first things first, ingredients. Here's what you need. We need two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, bam, measured out. We need a cup and a quarter of brown sugar, packed. Um, you need a quarter cup of your plant-based milk of choice. If you don't have plant-based milk at home, uh, by all means, normal milk will work. Coconut oil, you need half a cup of coconut oil. Key um, step to this recipe, don't melt the coconut oil. You then need, this might be the one thing you don't have at home, but these little individual snack sizes of applesauce, you need one of those. Then baking staples, you need baking soda, vanilla, and just table salt, and of course, chocolate chips. So getting started, I've got my baking sheets lined with parchment paper. Um, before you start mixing ingredients, turn on your oven, set it to 375. We'll wait for that to preheat while we mix everything together. So our first step, we're gonna mix our two and quarter cups of brown sugar in with our half a cup of coconut oil and two teaspoons of vanilla. So it'll look like this and you just wanna mash everything together until the coconut oil is really worked into the brown sugar. It'll take a while. You want a sturdy spatula. What I would recommend at 1.2 is to just grab a fork um, and just kind of, again, use the fork to just squish and mix everything together. We want to make sure all the coconut oil, um, so it's going to naturally clump together. You just want to make sure you're breaking all that apart and getting it in with the brown sugar. This is like my dream come true. I've always wanted my own baking show. So when that coconut oil and the brown sugar and the vanilla is all nicely mixed together, it should kind of look like this. Everything's nice and smooth. Uh, next thing you're going to add into this dish, you are going to take your snack size applesauce, throw all that in there. You're then going to take your quarter cup of uh, your plant-based milk, Boop. drop that in there. And then, you guessed it, stir all this together. So when you do this, um, you'll notice your mixture is kind of lumpy. That is totally okay. Okay, we're gonna take this dish, set it aside, um, then grab another large dish, and we are going to mix our dry ingredients together. So you're taking that two and a quarter cup that you have of flour, throw that in there. Again, baking soda, baking staple. Uh, you're gonna take two teaspoons, throw that in there. Uh, your table salt, you want about a quarter of a teaspoon. Yes, I know I didn't measure that, but I've made these enough before. Um, and then again, you are just going to stir all that together. So yeah, grab a fork, just mix all those dry ingredients in together. And that's all mixed. 
next. Back to your wet ingredients. And you guessed it, mix them together. This is gonna take a bit of working, so you really wanna make sure you've got a good heavy duty spatula for this. You'll know you're done stirring and mixing everything when it looks like cookie dough. Um, then, last but not least, the most important ingredient, uh, chocolate chips. Um, the recipe calls for half a cup, but I like to eyeball half a cup. Sure. Stir those in. And if that just doesn't look like it's gonna cut it, we add a couple chocolate chunks to the recipe as well. They're vegan, it's healthy. Stir all that in. Now, ready to bake them. When you are placing them on your baking sheet, don't be shy. Um, good, massive scoop. Just make sure you space them far enough apart because when you bake them, they will expand. So like I said, don't be afraid when dishing out your cookies. Be generous. I make mine quite big. If you'd rather do smaller cookies and have more, go for it. But I'd rather have large chocolate chip cookies with more chocolate chips. And then you know the best part about making plant-based cookies is that there's no raw egg in the cookie dough. Best cookie dough. Now that you've thrown their baking sheets, throw them in the oven. Again, 375, 10 minutes, that's it. Now we wait. So once your 10 minutes are up, you got oven mitt ready to go. Got your cooling rack ready to go as well. Cookies. So now that your cookies are out, let them cool for about two minutes. After a couple of minutes, transfer them onto a cooling rack. Give them about another five minutes to cool there. Um, so all in all, you still gotta wait about another 10 minutes before you can eat them, even though they look delicious. Um, what I like to do, my secret step to awesome chocolate chip cookies, um, if you've got sea salt at home, sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top of them. Um, delicious. So that is my um, plant-based chocolate chip cookie recipe. Try it. I'd love to see how your cookies come out. Um, if you have a plant-based recipe that you love, share it. I would love to try your recipes as well. Thank you.